Hey, what the fuck are we watching? Cut that shit out. Hey, Ma, can we get some meatloaf? As a good steward of the YouTube basketball community, I try and stay up to date on the who's who of the basketball 1v1 world, watching the games I think might be most interesting. I've always loved to play one-on-one -on -one myself, and I enjoy living vicariously as I watch YouTube players compete, wondering how I myself would fare against some of the top YouTube competitors. What I love about 1v1 is it's often spontaneous, you don't have to be in incredible shape to play. It's fun, quick, and perhaps most importantly, if you lose, it's all on you. No team, no coach, no excuses. One of my favorite YouTubers, Devante Friga, played Chris Staples, a man notorious for his incredible dunking abilities. This is a dude who is so athletic, he tried to straddle dunk a 7 foot 5 giant. Obviously, if you stand 7 foot 5, it kind of goes without saying that you're a giant, but the emphasis never hurts, right? Staples is so insanely athletic when he jumps, his head is above the rim. Above the rim. As in, if we were to pause the video right here, zoom in, and then later find out Chris got a black eye from hitting his eyeball on the rim, we'd actually have to believe him. That's how nutty athletic he is. You can imagine how jealous I am of his athleticism when I myself have a hard time touching the bottom of the net. So Frigga and Staples played a game of one-on-one. -on -one. I would have put my money on Frigga and I would have lost. It was a close game and given Frigga's history and hours practiced and the fact he played college ball and even despite Staples' nutty athleticism, I still would have given Frigga the advantage over Chris. But that's perhaps because I wasn't aware of how good of a shot Chris had. Although his form is slightly unorthodox, he's got a peculiar setup reminiscent of shooters from the 1980s with his release coming from the top of his head rather than from the front. He hits a lot of his three-pointers. In fact, he looks like he's around 50% from the three-point line, which is amazing. So when Chris hits a few threes, the defender has to get closer, and of course, as soon as someone plays up on him, he's able to use a speedy first step to get by and then score the layup. Or the dunk. Yeah, that dude just did a 360 dunk in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. It's no wonder people are scared to guard him up close. When Chris and Frigga played, at the end of the game, Frigga was down 7-10 in a game to 11. Frigga misses a shot, and Chris comes back with a nice jab step to create some space for his game-winning three-pointer. Game over. Like a salivating dog after hearing the sound of Pavlov's bell, I immediately scroll down to the comment section because, you know, sometimes the comments themselves are actually better than the video itself. There was one comment from the Frigga Chris game that immediately caught my attention because it was posted by Dev from In The Lab. As I write this transcript, the comment has since been deleted, presumably by Frigga, and since I didn't screenshot it, here it is to the best of my memory. Good game, it's probably long overdue, but I guess you can say I've been ducking you for a while. Again, this isn't verbatim, but at least 100 people had thumbs the comment up, and we know Frigga read it because he responded to it. I'll get to his response in a sec, but in case you don't know who Dev is, he's a legit baller who's destroyed many a folk in 1v1. He's lightning quick, has some ridiculous handles. You combine these skills and you've got a recipe for a brutal 1v1-er. Aside from his own abilities, Dev also has some of the best basketball tutorials on the net. So I was surprised when Frigga replied to Dev's original comment stating, Ha ha, who are you? I couldn't believe it. There's no way Frigga didn't know who Dev was. Going back to the comment section a week later, you can't find either of these comments, which means Frigga deleted them and Dev has since posted a comment stating, This was one of my favorite videos. To be honest, I don't know why, but it was good. Winking, smiley face. Why Frigga deleted their original comments and Dev posted another comment is beyond me. Perhaps they are trying to generate some hype. Perhaps Frigga truly didn't know who Dev was and was later embarrassed. And some communication went on behind the scenes and they agreed to delete their comments. I don't know. I'll leave the speculation to my viewers. Nevertheless, let's take a look at Frigga and Devin in detail and see if we can figure out who's going to win their inevitable 1v1 match. Let's start with Frigga. After watching a number of his vids, I'd say Frigga's bread and butter are his drive to his dominant side off his first step and his jump shot. Let's talk about his drive first. His drive to his right off triple threat is nasty. He has a special way of lulling the defender to sleep and then exploding off his left leg while driving by his defender. Even if the defender is playing good D, Frigg is a big dude and uses his size and body mechanics to secure the bucket. He can dunk the ball. So as you can see, I got a tear to come out. He can dunk the ball and is taller than Devin, and although there is some footage of Dev Duncan, 
It's off an alley-oop, and I've never seen Dev smash the ball like I have Frigga. Frigga has some serious ups, so that's definitely one of his advantages. His first step to his dominant side coupled with his size and athleticism. Now don't get me wrong, I've seen Devin play some pretty physical defense. Let's be honest, a lot of times he's straight up fouling. But it doesn't matter because Frigga is a lot bigger and a lot more athletic than many of Dev's previous opponents. So this certainly is going to be an issue for Dev. The hand checking and the subtle clotheslining isn't going to be as effective on Frigga as it was on Ryan Ruski or White Iverson. Neither of those players have the brute strength Frigga does. Additionally, Frigga played collegiate ball, so he's used to strong defenders being up in his face and having to maneuver around them. As far as Frigga's first step goes, Dev definitely is going to have some trouble stopping it, and I can easily see Frigga getting a few buckets off his drive. So Dev will have to back up and give him a little room, and this is where Frigga will have space to shoot his jumper. And if you've ever watched any of Frigga, you know his jumper is legit. That said, Frigga isn't the quickest of players. I'd say Dev definitely has him on this one. Dev is lightning quick, whereas I'd say Frigga is more explosive. So I'd say Dev can stay with Frigga when it comes to lateral movement, and if he's able to prevent the drive while staying close enough to pressure the jumper, he might be able to stop Frigga defensively. But I ain't gonna lie, I think it's gonna be pretty challenging for him. Now let's talk about Dev. Dev, as I mentioned, is very quick. He has faster lateral movement than Frigga, so it's going to be hard for Frigga to guard him, especially if they're playing unlimited dribbles. In fact, I'd go as far as to say Frigga won't be able to stay with him if it's unlimited dribbles. Frigga played White Iverson in 1v1 and had difficulty guarding him off the dribble, and Iverson and Dev have similar playing styles and similar quickness, and Dev is a little bigger, so I see Dev's quickness being problematic for Frigga. Devin is very shifty, and Frigga, because of his bulkier size, is a little clunky on defense, so Devin will make some quick lateral movements, and I don't see him having any trouble getting a shot off. And if you've watched Dev before, you know his jumper sinks in more than it does sail. Despite all this, Frigga has shown some decent defense and he certainly has the vertical jump to contest Dev's jumper, so it should be a good game. I would like to see Frigga play as aggressively and hand checky on defense against Dev, as I'm sure Dev will against him to even up the playing field. Who do I think will win? I have no idea to be honest. Both players are exceptional and both, relative to one another, have their strengths and weaknesses. To some degree, I think it's a toss up and a matter of who is feeling it that particular day. If they were to play 10 games in a one on one, I'd probably either say 5-5 five, five each or 6-4 in Dev's favor. So I think I might slightly favor Dev only because of his quickness, even though Frigga is more explosive and strong. I think Dev's quickness is more advantageous in a 1v1 than Frigga's brute strength. I had him out of there. I had him out of there, bro. Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I'll be playing Dev Williams one-on-one -on -one in December. And so, just like you, I'm eagerly awaiting to see the matchup. Let me know what you think of my analysis. Was I on point or was I way off the mark? Let me know. You'll have 90 days to turn in your analysis. So I kind of think about ball handling a little bit weird. <laughs> Larry Bird doesn't do as much ball handling in one night as you do in a Each of these trees, there's a bunch of trees out here, right? I see a crossover. Crossover. I see a behind the back. Behind the back. In and out. In and out. I'm just weird like this, right? I'm just weird. So this tree right here. I've seen this tree before. I just see it between the legs. Strongest part of the tree is the base right there. And it goes into the ground, spreads out. But visually, as far as we can see, this is the strongest part what the of fuck? the tree. The between the leg. That's just the between the legs. Now, as we start going up, it turns to a crossover. Yeah, now, this may branch off into a between the legs behind the back. Between the legs in and out. Are you hot? Whatever. I don't do drugs. Whatever. Whatever, Whatever the fuck ever. Whatever, right? Uh, branches start getting a little bit skinnier. 
But now as it starts branching off even more, I want to like start playing with these trees. In and out, in and out, between the legs. Different type of snatch. Copy a heavy ball. I'm going to be your trainer. There's a bunch of trees out here, right? Put some respect on my name.